It's unfair, I tell you. It's unfair. The six cars I'm about to talk about in this video do not deserve to be overlooked. And since they're not selling well, you could actually buy them at a bargain price, which is actually a good thing. And it's why I made this video. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Christian. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you do, make sure to subscribe for more. And for all my returning viewers, make sure to follow me on Instagram for channel updates. You know, since my upload schedule is all over the place. That said, let's begin. The first car is a BMW 228i. It's pretty easy to dismiss this car as an excellent luxury sports car as it normally gets overshadowed by the more popular BMW M cars and M light cars such as the M235i. But the truth is that the 228i is one of the best driver cars around, one that offers everything we liked about old BMW cars. It's the perfect size to toss around corners, it offers a six speed manual transmission, and the power is both strong and manageable, allowing you to really feel like you're in control. It comes equipped with a 2 liter 4 cylinder turbo engine that produces 240 horsepower and 255 pound feet of torque. 0 to 60 for the rear wheel drive version happens in 4.9 seconds. It may not be the fastest BMW out there, but I'll tell you this from experience, the driver involvement on the 228i definitely makes a huge difference. And when it comes to straight line speed, it feels much faster than what the numbers say. What's even more surprising is that the 228i serves well as a daily driver thanks to its great highway fuel consumption. It manages to get 34 miles per gallon highway, which is unreal for a fun sporty car such as this one. And this is exactly why the automotive trend of downsizing engines is so effective. You can can get so much power out of a four cylinder engine once you add a turbocharger to it while at the same time increasing fuel efficiency the best part is that you can get a used bmw 228i for as low as fifteen thousand dollars with a decent amount of miles on it making this car one of the biggest values you can get for a premium two-door sports car the second overlooked car is the alfa romeo giulia this car is a true underdog in the luxury vehicle market for those of you that have a desire to be unique and stand out from the rest of the crowd the giulia helps you achieve just that this is the car that was supposed to make a statement once alfa romeo decided to start producing cars for the US after not doing so for about 20 years. Sadly, it hasn't sold too well here in the US, only selling 36 total units in 2016, just 9,000 units in 2017, and a little over 11,000 units in 2018. One of the main reasons it doesn't sell as well is because it's a fairly new re-established brand here in the US with a sense of mystery when it comes to reliability and track record. While its main competitors like the BMW 3 Series and the Mercedes C-Class have an established following, the Julia has to work twice as hard to win over buyers and it really shouldn't have to its exterior design is among one of the best in its class in my opinion especially when it comes to the front end performance wise it comes equipped with a two liter four cylinder turbo engine that produces 280 horsepower and 306 pound feet of torque zero to 60 happens in 5.1 seconds combine that power with a nearly perfect 50 50 weight distribution and not only do you have a car that screams class but it can also be very fun around twisty roads in my opinion where it really shines is the interior from its leather seats with embossed alpha a Romeo crest in the headrest to its awesome layout of the dash and start stop button on the steering wheel you'll definitely feel like you're in a more expensive car than what it really cost. Toss in some standard active safety features like forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, pedestrian recognition and lane departure warning system and you got yourself a solid package with the Julia. You can find a used Julia for as low as $25,000 which looks identical as the newer model ones. Doing so will save you thousands of dollars while essentially getting the same vehicle. If you want a premium Italian car without paying Lamborghini Lamborghini, Ferrari, or Maserati money, then the Giulia is a fantastic choice. Would you buy one? The third car on the list is the Porsche 718 Cayman. It always seemed like this car has always had a bad reputation of being a poor man's Porsche, sometimes being referred as the watered down younger sibling of the 911. I never really understood people that said that. The Cayman truly is one of the best cars money can buy. It has a youthful spirit, unlike the BMW Z4 and the Mercedes SLK that seem to always be driven by older men. You get two choices, either the hard top or the soft top convertible found in the Porsche Boxster, and it comes with a mid-engine placement that just keeps getting better over the years. Not only will the mid-engine help the Cayman when it comes to balance and stability, it also increase cargo room as you'll be able to fit two carry-on suitcases in the trunk and two more in the front trunk. And similar to the previous two cars mentioned on this list, it comes equipped with a 2-liter 4-cylinder turbo engine that produces 300 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque, and it's able to complete a 0-60 to run in just 4.7 seconds when equipped with the PDK automatic transmission. 
or you can sacrifice 0.2 seconds of straight line speed and go for the manual transmission, which I'm sure most of you will. The interior is what you expect from a Porsche, high quality with attention to detail. In fact, there is little to distinguish the 718 cockpit from the pricier 911. I'm honestly confused as to why Porsche's entry level sports cars don't sell that well. The 718 Cayman and the Boxer are among the most capable machines on the market, offering a hard to match driving experience in a stylish and quality package. You get near perfect handling, a near perfect transmission, and a strong turbo four cylinder that won't disappoint, especially when you can get one of these for as low as $45,000. The fourth overlooked car on the list is the Infiniti Q60 Red Sport 400, Infiniti's only new two-door coupe. This car definitely deserves much more attention than what it normally gets. Many car enthusiasts know about this car and for the most part speak very highly about it, but for whatever reason it doesn't seem to sell well. In 2018, the Q60 lineup in general sold less than 10k units in the US. But I'll tell you this, for those of you that pass up on this car, you're missing out. The exterior design alone looks stunning. The Q60 Red Sport looks both classy and aggressive. Prepare to get many compliments if you decide to drive around in this car. And it's not only looks and no show, it has quite the powerful engine to back up its sporty appearance. It comes equipped with a 3 liter V6 turbocharged engine that produces 400 horsepower and 331 pound feet of torque. 0 to 60 happens in just 4.5 seconds. Some auto journalists being able to achieve slightly faster times. You also get some pretty sweet technology features to fine tune your driving experience to your liking. While I'm not the biggest fan of some of the new electronics used in modern cars, some of the ones used in the Q60 Red Sport might be appealing to some people. A personal mode is available that allows you to adjust the car's respective systems including steering and suspension independent from each other. Thanks to a steer by wire technology, you can fine tune the steering feel indefinitely. Get this, with steer by wire, there is no direct connection between the steering column and the front axle. All movements are electronically controlled. I'm not really sure how I feel about that, as bumps and imperfections on the road are not really felt on the steering wheel since there is no direct connection. Infinity is pretty convinced that this way of steering will be the future. Rides in the Red Sport are whisper quiet when you want them to be thanks to its boast active noise cancelling system. Good news for those that are in the market for a Q60 Red Sport. I've seen some being sold for as low as $30,000, which is one one hell of a deal. The fifth car on the list is the Ford Flex, perfect for those that are looking for more of a practical vehicle that also happens to be pretty quick. In some ways, the Flex is like a wagon and at the same time it's like a crossover and SUV. Consider it a modern station wagon, which is probably why this vehicle doesn't sell well here in the US. It has the smaller sales numbers in Ford's lineup. Americans just never seem to be big fans of wagons. They see them as not cool. But see, the Flex is truly unique in my opinion. Its funky looks really differentiates itself from every other car on the road. Definitely the most unique choice featured here on this video. You can buy the Ford Flex with two engine options, either the naturally aspirated 3.5 liter V6 engine that produces 287 horsepower and 254 pound feet of torque, or you can go full blown sleeper status with the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine that produces 365 horsepower, the same setup used in the Ford Taurus SHO. With the EcoBoost engine, you're able to complete a 0 to 60 run in around 6.2 seconds, which for a vehicle such as this one is very good. People always expect premium German SUVs. SUVs and crossovers to be fast, but very few people expect a Ford Flex to be as fast as it is, and it's able to outcorner a number of fast cars costing much more money. The inside of the Flex is what you expect, practical enough for long road trips. The cabin fits 7 passengers and if needed, you're able to fold down the seats which gives enough room as a decent sized pickup truck. The Flex can also tow up to 4500 pounds without breaking the sweat. Since 2013, Ford has been injecting more performance and style into its family vehicles and the Ford Flex is a perfect example and really doesn't deserve to be overlooked. You can find older models for as low as $5,000 and newer 2016 models for as low as $12,000. Sixth and final overlooked car on the list is the Volvo S60, Volvo sedan bread and butter. This car is easily overlooked mostly because German sedans dominate the luxury sports segment, but this car here is truly a hidden gem. One of the S60's standout offering is its interior comfort, definitely one of my favorite things about this car. I've sat and drove the newer S60 myself and saying that the seats are very comfortable is a huge understatement. You really won't know how comfortable driving a Volvo is until you actually sit in one. Safety is also a huge plus for the S60, scoring a perfect 5 star safety rating. But I mean, it is Volvo after all. I would have to say comfort and safety has always been Volvo's specialty. The exterior is modest and has a clean simplistic design, the headlights getting most of the attention with its Thor Hammer LED design. The base engine is the T5 2 liter 4 cylinder turbo engine that produces 250 horsepower. The next level up engine adds a supercharger to the mix which produces 316 horsepower and the strongest setup is the plug-in hybrid option that produces 400 horsepower. With the hybrid engine, 0-60 to happens in just 4.3 seconds. If you're looking for an entry level luxury sedan that can 
combine safety, comfort, and a minimalist design, this is definitely a solid choice, and it's truly an underrated car. Well guys, that was the video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe with notifications on, that way you don't miss my next video. So which other modern car do you believe is underrated and deserves more attention? Make sure and comment below and let me know. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time.